And everybody check it out, we got the Milsig Paradigm Pro 2012 model. A special thanks goes out to Eric Chan who supplied the marker to us. Without him we wouldn't be doing the review right now. It's a very balanced marker. Weight distribution is beautiful. The uh, 6061 T6 aluminum, you can tell they're using top of line materials here. And the Jiro coat anodizing is just very durable. You know, we got to smack this thing around on walls and stuff like that, and it's holding steady very nicely. But one thing I'm not digging, why is there hopper feet on it? If you're gonna be spending near $900 Canadian, this is gonna be your go-to marker for mag-fed paintball, you know, the highest, grittiest mag-fed paintball you've ever tasted. Picatinny rails all the way down, Four shroud is just like you remember on the Milsig Paradigm, the original one, and it does have the double heightened top rail, so you can use your mask while you're playing paintball and you don't need another riser on there, which is very nice. Flip up sights on the front, nice high quality, 16 inch fluted barrel, and it's rifled. And your four grip here, nice in the front, and it's actually quite comfortable, I do like it. Magazine well is now moved backwards, so it's now in more of a traditional spot, so we don't need that bridge magazine release. Right hand release only. And today, since we have all of these high-end markers coming out, I would have liked to see an ambidextrous magazine release. One left and right. The grip. This grip, same one as we had before, same one we reviewed multiple times. It is a pain. I do not like this grip. Most markers on the market nowadays they now have the pistol grip, AR style, interchangeable grips, and even at the fraction of the cost of this marker. I wouldn't have too much of a problem if it was nice and comfortable, but it is just a big block in your hand and it gets your hand cramping after a while because it's not form-fitted or anything. This baby has a brand new system inside. This system now is called the Heat Core. Blow 4, which means it's going to be ultra accurate and more simplistic than your traditional blowback system. To take apart the system, all you have to do is take out these two pins here. One, two. Cutter pins hold them all on the other side. And the whole Heat Core system comes out the back. Now, since the Heat Core is a new product on the market, it isn't without its, uh, its bugs. So a couple things. It doesn't seem to like low velocities as it currently sits. So something around the 250 mark it does have its troubles. The velocity adjustment it takes some getting used to. To adjust the velocity, all it is right here, it actually gives you a nice little guide of how to increase and decrease your velocity. But here's the exception. On most markers, you adjust velocity and it instantly changes. On this one, you can shoot, say, 260, 260. You'll adjust velocity, you'll take another shot and it'll still be 260. You actually have to take about 10 clearing shots. Then it'll settle on the new velocity. Next up, brand new magazines. The D10 system on the magazines now is now a square color design and it has a bar on the front, very much like your Tiberius 8.1 and 9.1 magazines. And the D10s are beautiful, you can put them upside and down in your, in your packs and they won't release. The Milsig magazines have a straight model, which is a 10 round, which also holds for a strike. The 20 round model is just like your old 20 round model, except for it has a square head and it only accepts regular paintballs. The new magazines engage beautifully, perfectly smooth. Check this out. Aw oh, yeah. Very positive engagement, very smooth and quick. So your magazine reloads are going to be nice and fast. Overall, the Milsig Paradigm Pro 2012 model is one of my favorite Milsig markers, and it's got to be one of my favorite MagFed markers of all time. The magazine insertion and release is beautiful, but there's a couple things, like I said before, that keep it from being great, like the ambidextrous magazine release, an interchangeable grip would be nice, and the heat core isn't without its own issues since it is Gen 1. But, uh, you know, we'll probably see some updates later on, but we have to deal with it right now. So, overall, I'm going to give this marker a 9. Again, drawbacks. But aside from that, the marker is beautiful. The aluminum is perfect. 6061 aluminum is amazing. Great balance. Rifle barrel is nice and tight. 
and it gets your first strike rifling right out of the barrel. Very nice, loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed our review. For everything Modern Intel, check out modernintel.ca or our Facebook or Twitter page, or you can subscribe on the side for everything MagFed. Nice luck, guys. See you on the field.